Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and it's the 14th of October today so it's time to bubble wrap the greenhouse to make it insulated for the heat that we're going to provide in there over winter keeping those plants at a minimum of five degrees and today I have Sam who's going to help me isn't that right Sam? Okay, so the first thing we need to do before we bubble wrap the greenhouse for winter is to take everything out. And there's just a few things in there, aren't there, Sam? Mm. Don't mind helping out at all, do you? Mm. Come on, <laughs> we can do it. What do I bring out there? Everything, I'll put it on the big stuff first and let's just put it on the lawn. Now what you'll need for this task is bubble wrap, so you need to measure up your greenhouse and what you need to look for is the largest bubble possible. So these bubbles that trap air on the inside are going to be what insulates your greenhouse. Now the purpose of the bubble wrap is to keep heat in, so I'm going to put heat in the greenhouse but the bubble wrap is going to do the job of keeping that in. So basically what we're going to do is cover the whole of the inside of the, bubble, of the greenhouse with this bubble wrap and hold it in place with these pegs which I'll show you how to use in a little while and basically they go through the bubble wrap and into the, well, into a place in the greenhouse which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so the trick to this is to cut the bubble wrap as little as possible. So you want to have long, long stretches that you don't need to cut, because every time you cut, you have to make sure you secure it very well and it takes a lot of pegs, etc. So I'm going to start, and I have the greenhouse doors wide open, as you can see. So I'm gonna start here on the inside of this greenhouse door with the first stretch of bubble wrap. Now, as you can see, I have a hole here, so that's kind of useless. What I'm going to do is work out how much I need, which is roughly there, roughly that much. And then if we come in the inside here, you'll see is I'm going to secure it in here with the, the peg, using this peg, which you poke through the bubble wrap into the hole in the wall like that and then turn it and it holds it in place and this is just a securing point. Now what I'm going to do is follow that line of bubbles down to make sure I have this thing straight and go between that lot there down 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 to here and I'm going to secure it again at the lowest point. Now, as you can see, there's a bit of overlap at the bottom, and that's good, because if you leave a gap between the bubble wrap and the floor, then it's going to let it draft in. Okay, so we're going to bring this around the corner now. And secure it in here in the corner and corners are always fiddly now don't pull this thing too tight otherwise you'll run into problems um, but it's the same principle just get the peg and poke it in there in the corner and turn it now I'll put more pegs in here at a later stage at the moment I'm just holding the thing in place and then what I want to do is measure straight down here Uh, 
and secure it in place. And here we're going to reuse the clip that's here. So remove this. And I'm going to poke it through the two layers. Corners are always tricky. <laughs> there where the wall stops being flat and also here where it curls around but I don't know how many clips I'm going to have so I'm going to put it in here for the moment and do that all the way along So what I'm going to do is put a whole sheet of it along the roof of the greenhouse, starting at this end and ending up at that end. And as we all know, heat rises, so it'll just act as double insulation to try and keep the heat in and also to close off any gaps that we've had up there at the top. So I'm going to cut the bubble wrap first. I'm going to first of all measure roughly how much we need to go from one end of the greenhouse to the other. And I'm going to air on the cautious side in terms of cutting it because we don't want it to be too short. Right, so I've got to cut it here. Okay, 
and the next job is hard because it's holding something above your head. So yeah, this is going to be a bit tricky. A uh, chair. So off I go. be around about from here to here. So we're going to substantially reduce the uh, height of the greenhouse. So I'm going to start and um, just try and clip this in here. There's no one to clip it in. Now I'm going to tape this bit to the outside of the greenhouse door because, well, because there's nowhere to attach clips. Um, bubble wrapped it with the doors open just so that it will allow me to well to open the doors as the season goes on now this means that there's a bit of wiggle here uh, like that but you know I think I probably close this with a bit of tape um, you know but that's what we need to do okay so have a look around the greenhouse here and that was I guess my video on bubble wrapping the greenhouse to provide insulation for winter and I hope you found it useful and if so then do subscribe to the channel and check back for lots more plant and well lots more plant stuff that's what we do here thanks for watching bye